Hello fellow adventurers! After our last accessories video, we have been trying out 5 more accessories for the Oculus Quest for the past 3 weeks. Now, these accessories might not be for everyone, so in this video we'll let you know who we think each accessory is for and why you should or should not buy it. Now, before we get started, every accessory will be linked down below uh, with an affiliate link and if you use that link a small referral fee will go to this channel supporting the content at no extra cost for you for some accessories we also have a discount code so here's a reminder to not to forget to use it we got these uh, discount codes because we want to give back a little to you as a subscriber because we really appreciate you watching these videos you are who we do this channel for now you don't have to use these links but if you do thank you very much this video is coming up subscribe if you haven't yet to see more videos about vr like this one if you wear prescription glasses like cherry then having dedicated lens adapters like these is great because you don't need to try to wiggle your frames into the headset or wear contact lenses to see as clearly as possible it also helps with having the best view to view since your eyes will be closer to the lenses so first on the list are the Witmo VR prescription lens adapters for the Oculus Quest. They go for 65 euro, shipping excluded, and depending on where you live, shipping will range from 9 to 13 euro. Cherry has been using Witmo VR lens adapters for all our headsets. Since a few weeks she has been testing the Oculus Quest once too and she has been very happy with them. The lenses are of great quality, making her able to see as clearly with normal glasses on. The adapters appear to be 3D printed and are good enough that you won't notice that they are on your headset. To put them on, you need to remove the original lens rings and then all you need to do is just place the lens adapters on the lenses. If you softly press it in, it will softly click on the lenses perfectly so it doesn't fall off. Make sure you check which lens adapter is for the right or left lens. Fortunately, the lens adapters are labeled conveniently as you can see here. To order them with prescription, you just go to the Witmo VR website and fill out your prescription on their order page. If you need help with that, you can email them. They are quite responsive. We think these lens adapters are definitely worth it for those that wear prescription glasses. If you don't wear glasses at all, you can also get them without a prescription, but with a uh, blue filter, for example. I don't think this is very necessary though, like uh, just so you know, I don't use one myself. Moving on, we got these VR covers for the Oculus Quest. In case you did not know, the facial interface and cover of the Oculus Quest is replaceable. Why would you do that? Well, some people think the VR cover ones are more comfortable and if you share your quest a lot with other people, then being able to replace the cover is just more hygienic. We got the black facial interface and the leather foam replacements that goes for 29 US dollars, which includes the facial interface and two different leather replacements. We also have this VR cover made of cotton that goes for 19 dollars, which will give you two of these. We personally are not fans of the cotton VR covers because the material feels rough on our faces, especially in longer play sessions. It doesn't make it more comfortable to us. This is why we don't recommend these, however, we do recommend the leather foam replacements. These are absolutely great, more comfortable and also easier to wipe off with antibacterial wipes after each use. They have permanently replaced our original foams. If you sweat a lot, we definitely recommend getting the leather ones for easier cleaning. However, we do have to mention that sweat does not get absorbed much on the leather ones as the original foam or the cotton VR cover, so you might feel like you are sweating more. You might want to consider the other one if you sweat a lot. Also, be aware that the stock glasses spacer is not compatible with the VR cover interface. And a bonus tip, if you buy a VR cover, they will give you a free microfiber lens cleaning cloth that you can use to clean the Oculus Quest lenses. It's helpful since you don't get one from Oculus themselves. And well, the leather on the Quest looks just kinda sexy, do you agree? While you're watching this video, please leave a like if you found this video helpful so far. Now the third thing on this list is the Mehmet grips, well <laughs> if that is how you pronounce that. Right now they are sold out so I am not sure what the prices will be, but they used to be 38 US dollars and it comes with free shipping. 
These are covers for the base handle of your Oculus Touch controllers, enlarging this base handle which is especially nice if you have bigger hands. I am not entirely sure what material they are made of, but it feels like silicone. The grips are somewhat flexible too. There are bumps on the side which gives you extra grip when holding the controllers. They come with shoelaces that you can strap on the controller like this to make it possible to put your hands through it so you can open your hands without dropping the controllers. This gives it kind of a valve index controller feel. It is still easy to replace the batteries since you can take off the Mamet grips without taking off the shoelaces, thankfully. After about 2 weeks of using it, we have been liking it so far. The extra grip feels very nice and a bit more comfortable. It's great when playing games with intense hand or arm movements. The controllers won't easily fall off your hands anymore. The thing I am really missing though is the ability to let the controllers tangle around my wrists with the lanyard so that I have the freedom to use my hands to grab a drink or to adjust my headset strap. There is a little hole at the bottom of the grips where you could put the original lanyard through. But it is very hard to put the lanyard fastener through it so you can't tighten the lanyard anymore. I think this is also why Mehmet is recommending removing the lanyard from the controller in their instruction manual. This should be easily solved though by making the hole for the lanyard a bit bigger. So I hope that the next iteration will get a bigger hole for the lanyard. I also don't think you need this unless your battery cover keeps sliding off or you feel that the Oculus Touch controllers are too small for your hands. Then this is definitely a welcome accessory. For us, the pros defeat the cons here too, so this has also become a permanent accessory for our Quest headsets. A little bonus tip, we also found a couple of old colored shoelaces that we put on my controllers so that we can distinguish which controllers are Cherry's and which are mine. Handy if you play with multiple Oculus Quest headsets with friends or family. The fourth on this list is the MagSafe USB-C cables. If you play a lot with your Quest, you will be replugging the charging cable a lot since 2 hours of playtime is usually not enough. So as a safety measure, we like to keep this plug safe. We recommend getting a MagSafe USB-C cable for this, which is this little magnetic thing that goes into your headset's USB-C port. The magnetic cable can then be easily attached. This is a really nice accessory if you want to protect your USB-C port. Just to be clear, we haven't had any issues with the port at all, we just like to be on the safe side. And we found that this is actually also handy when you are wearing the headset and want to attach an external battery, you can more easily plug in the USB-C cable now without taking off the headset, which is a nice advantage too. These cables are not expensive, we bought a USB-C to USB-A MagSafe cable for 5 euro from a Dutch local web store, I will link it below for the Dutchies watching. I will also link one from Amazon down below. Just be aware that we have not tested this cable but it should work. If you are going to look for a cable yourself, we found that some USB-C cables do not work properly on the Quest, so please make sure that the cable is a charging and also a data sync cable. However, the cable that we bought was a totally random one and it worked straight away and it was the first cable we bought. So. Don't be scared. <laughs> so for this price, we think it is definitely worth it to get one to be on the safe side. And last but not least, get some microfiber cloth for your Oculus Quest. For some reason, you don't get any lens cleaning cloths with your Oculus Quest, so you will have to find one yourself. And trust me, you are going to need one since uh, the lenses will somehow get dust on it or get greasy after a play session. You can probably get really cheap ones from a local store or use one from your sunglasses. Just make sure they are made of microfiber and are made to clean lenses. Never use any liquid though to clean the lenses that could damage them. Don't use other material either since that could damage the lenses too. And if you are going to buy a VR cover, you will get a free microfiber cloth from them too, which are the ones we have been using for all our headsets for the past few years and they have done a fine job. So, which of these accessories are you going to buy or do you already own? And do you got any VR accessories you recommend that we haven't listed yet? Let us know in the comments and maybe you'll be able to help us or another VR enthusiast out. 
Now, there are five other accessories that we use very often with the Oculus Quest. Uh, we discussed it in our last accessories video, which uh, includes like external batteries that we recommend and a top head strap that balances your headset more. Uh, in case you missed that video, I've linked it in our description. Once again, all links are down below. A special thanks goes to Art Armin and a special shout out goes to his Patreon page. Everyone, thank you so much for watching and for your support. And as always, always VR on. These accessories might not be for everyone and not what I wanted to say. I can. We can do this.